Hi, reader friends. I have kind of a different Valentine's story for you today for your choice board. The title is The Yuckiest, Stinkiest, Best Valentine Ever. It was written by Brenda A. Ferber, and the pictures are by Ted Arnold. Um, this is a graphic novel, and so as we read it, it will have kind of a cartoon or comic book effect look to it. And I hope you enjoyed. I thought it was a really funny story. Dial Books for Young Readers is the publisher. And this book was copyrighted in 2012. Leon had a crush, a secret crush, a dreamy crush. A let her cut in line at the water fountain crush. And today, Leon planned to proclaim his love. It would be the best Valentine's Day ever. Leon cut a big red heart out of construction paper. He added arms, legs, and a face. Oh, what a sweet valentine. He turned it over and wrote, Dear Zoe Maloney, I love you. Love, Leon. But when Leon tried to put it into an envelope, the valentine jumped out of his hands. Blah! Please! You can't tell Zoe Maloney you love her. I can't. Why not? said Leon. It's disgusting. Blah! That's why not. It's mushy and gross and just plain yucky. But, but I thought Valentine's Day was all about love. Ha! Valentine's Day is all about candy. I'm talking Valentine candy hearts. Chocolates, caramels, the works. And with that, the valentine leaped out the window and ran away. Wait, come back. But the valentine ran faster, calling. Love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Down the road ran the valentine, and after him ran Leon. They came to a playground where some boys were playing basketball. Help! Leon wants to give me to his secret crush. Ew, said the biggest boy. Gross, said the middle-sized boy said the littlest boy. You don't understand. Zoe Maloney is my one true love. Pipe down. You give me to Zoe Maloney and we'll be the laughing stock of the whole school. And off he ran calling. Love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Through the park ran the valentine, and after him ran Leon and the boys who were cheering wildly for the valentine's escape. They came to a field where some girls were playing tag. Help! cried the valentine. Leon thinks he's in love with Zoe Maloney. How cute, said the biggest girl. How adorable, said the middle-sized girl. How romantic, said the littlest girl. But does Zoe Maloney love you back? <gasps> Leon froze. I mean, he had no idea. 
she had picked him to be on her kickball team once was that love uh zoe maloney does love me i think the valentine shook his head love is nothing but trouble kid stick with candy it's a sure thing and off he ran calling you guessed it love is yucky stinky too it will turn your brain to goo into town ran the valentine and after him ran leon the boys and the girls who were kind of hoping to see true love triumph they came to a fountain where some teenagers were hanging out help cried the valentine leon wants to give me to zoe maloney and he's not even sure she loves him back whoa that's bold said the biggest team uh that's risky said the middle-sized teen that's nothing said the littlest teen I can find out if Zoe Maloney likes him. My brother is best friends with Sam Samuelson, whose cousin is Riley Richard, who lives next door to Lindsay Lewis, who plays on the same soccer team as Zoe Maloney. <coughs> I had no idea love was so complicated. Ha! 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 Love is fleeting, kid. You'll forget about Zoe Maloney before summer vacation. And on he ran, calling, Love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Around the corner ran the valentine, and after him ran Leon, the boys, the girls, and the teens, who were just kind of curious to see how this whole mess was going to turn out. The valentine dashed inside Sugarman's candy shop, where he slammed into a girl with hair as sleek as sunshine, eyes bright as the ocean, and freckles like perfect specks of sand. <gasps> Zoe Maloney! Zoe Maloney looked at Leon. Then she looked at the valentine. <gasps> Leon held his breath. A smile spread across Zoe Maloney's face. Leon's heart soared. Just then the valentine noticed Zoe Maloney's Valentine. <gasps> Sweet! <laughs> Zoe Maloney's Valentine giggled, and the boy said, Whoa! The girl said, Oh! And the teenager said, Way to go! Hey! Like, you're in love too? At last, the valentine was speechless. But as everyone feasted on fancy chocolates and caramels and candy hearts of all colors and sizes, the valentine could be heard whispering into the taffy ears of his beloved. Ah. Uh, Love is yummy. Love's divine. Ah, oh, won't you be my valentine? They all agreed. It was the best Valentine's Day ever. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that Valentine's Day story. That's one of my favorites, I think. See you soon.